Hello, hello, wonderful children and all Pachis TV lovers watching us from home today. How are you? So it's a beautiful Sunday morning. We are glad that the Lord has made this day. So did you wake up well, feeling energetic? Wow, it's a beautiful Sunday. We are celebrating the fourth Sunday of Advent. We are still in the season of Advent. I hope you're super excited because next Sunday it's Christmas, the birth of Jesus, the birth of our Savior. So I take this opportunity to welcome you to our Sunday school program. So sit there, watch it from the beginning to the end. Do not change the channel. So as usual, before we begin, let us pray. Humble yourself wherever you are and let us pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from fires of hell. Lead all souls into heaven, especially those who are in most need of thy mercy. Amen. Saint Michael, pray for us. All the angels and saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So, how are you? How was your week? I believe you had a wonderful week, and as all of us are super excited, looking forward for Christmas, the day our Savior and Lord was born. What have you done during this Advent to prepare yourself? Are you ready to receive Jesus in your heart? Mm -hmm. Now, Advent is the period of waiting as we wait for the birth of Christ and we all know the color theme in the church is purple. Now the past three Sundays if you've been observative in the church we've been lighting candle each and every Sunday. So the first Sunday we lit the first candle and it was candle of hope. Second Sunday it was the candle of peace. Last Sunday, the third Sunday, it was the Sunday of joy. And now finally, the fourth candle will be lit today, and that is the candle of love. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us. Jesus loves us. Hallelujah. Ha, ha, ha. Jesus loves us. Hallelujah. Ha, ha, ha. Jesus loves us. So today, it's all about love. And who loved us unconditionally? Jesus. Jesus loved us unconditionally. Do we love our brothers and sisters the same? If you don't love your brothers and sisters the same way Christ loved us, then you're doing a mistake. You need to do something. So, four candles are lit today. The candle of hope, peace, joy and love the four advent candles because today is the fourth sunday of advent the next sunday we are celebrating the christmas the birth of jesus now our first reading today is from the book of isaiah the book of isaiah chapter 7 verse 10 to 14 behold a virgin shall conceive. Now, if you read uh, the past few weeks, we've been reading a lot about uh, the book of Isaiah. 
Isaiah prophesied what was to come. So it was preparing us for the birth of Christ. What will happen? And today's reading shows us that a virgin will conceive. And who is this virgin? It's Mother Mary. Remember how Angel Gabriel appeared to Mother Mary and told Mother Mary, Mary, hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. And Mary was surprised. What kind of a greetings are these? Then the angel told her, do not be afraid, for you have won God's favor, and you will conceive a child, and his name will be Jesus. Mary was surprised and asked, how is that possible? I'm just a virgin. I'm not married. Then the angel said, don't worry. The Holy Spirit shall come upon you, and it will overshadow you, and you will conceive. So Mary accepted to be the mother of Jesus, and that is how it was prophesied in the book of Isaiah that a virgin will conceive and have a child. So the book of Isaiah basically is a prophecy of what is happening in the New Testament. So Isaiah wrote about what will come during the coming of our Messiah. And the New Testament, the life of Jesus, is a fulfillment of what was written down by prophet Isaiah. Now, um, our responsorial psalm is from the book of Psalms, and the response is, let him enter he is the king of glory. Let him enter. He is the king of glory. Second reading is from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Chapter 1, verse 1 to 7. Jesus Christ descended from David and is the son of God. Now, uh, when you read uh, Matthew chapter 1, it gives you the genealogy of Christ, like from generation to generation. So Jesus is a descendant of King David. So you can read it in Matthew chapter 1 and you get to know from the grandfather, great grandfather, to until you reach the birth of Jesus. So Roma, uh, Paul was uh, writing to the Romans and telling them that David himself was a king. And from the lineage of David came the savior of the world who was also a son of God and that is Jesus. So this was to fulfill what had been prophesied by the prophets and even the promise that God had made to David. So our gospel is Matthew. Our gospel is according is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew chapter 1 verse 18 to 24, and I shall read. The birth of Jesus Christ took place in this way, when his mother Mary had been betrothed to Joseph. Before they came together, she was found to be with a child of the Holy Spirit, and her husband Joseph, being just a man and unwilling to put her to shame, resolved to send her away quietly. But his, as he considered this, behold, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream, saying, Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary, your wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he is for he is and will save his people from the sin. Behold, all this took place to fulfill what the Lord had spoken to the pro by the prophets. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name shall be called Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke from sleep, he did as the angels of the Lord commanded him. The gospel of the Lord. Now, the gospel today talks about Joseph. 
We all know that Joseph became the earthly father of Jesus. Jesus was a son of God and he was the second in the Trinity. So we have God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. It is God who was coming in different forms. He came in the form of the Father, he came in the form of the Son, and in the form of the Holy Spirit. So when Angel Gabriel appeared to Mary and told Mary that she was going to conceive, even Mary herself was confused. Like, how is this possible? Yet I'm just a virgin. And at that time she was engaged or betrothed to Joseph. And Joseph was from the lineage of David. We all know the story of David. David was the most loved king. The little shepherd boy who became the king of Israel. And the Lord loved David and God had made promise to David that his kingdom shall not have he will bless his kingdom and bless him even after. And from his lineage, he will raise a king. So, when Joseph, who was engaged to Mary, they were about to get married, realized that Mary was already having a baby. She was pregnant. She was having a baby in her womb. Joseph was like, now, I can't do this. So he had decided to send Mary away quietly so that she's not put to shame. But when he was planning all these things, as we all know God reads our minds and knows our desires and everything, God sent the angel to Joseph. And the angel appeared to Joseph and told Joseph, do not Abandon Mary because the child she's having is from the Holy Spirit. And whatever that was written in the book of Isaiah and what had been spoken by the previous prophets is coming to fulfillment. So do not abandon her. So when he woke up in the morning, he went and took Mary and started taking care of Mary. So he did not quit on her. Joseph did not quit on Mary. He started helping Mary and taking care of Mary until when the baby was born. So the gospel basically reminds us about the role of Joseph as the earthly father of Jesus and how he was to play his role. The angel assured him that the child is going to be son of God and therefore he needs care. Now, as we prepare for Christmas, it's a fulfillment of what was written in the Old Testament by Prophet Isaiah, especially the book of Prophet Isaiah, talks more of the birth of Jesus. The last two Sundays, somehow, Lee, we were talking about and reading more about John the Baptist, who was the cousin of Jesus. And John the Baptist had come to prepare the way for Jesus, and he's the one who baptized Jesus. But later on, he was arrested. Now, John, John the Baptist was preaching to the people and he also lived in the wilderness you remember and he was only feeding on wild honey and locusts who does that and he was putting on the camels the camel skin that's what he was putting on as a cloth and a belt so he preached to the people he baptized the people he was just preparing the way for jesus and even when the time came for Jesus, John saw him and told the people, he is so great that I cannot even tie his shoe sandals, the laces of his sandals. And people looked and the time of baptism came. Jesus was baptized and immediately the heavens were open and 
the Holy Spirit descended upon him on for, in form of a dove and rested on his shoulder. And a voice was heard from heaven saying, Behold, listen to him. This is my beloved son of whom I love. Listen to him. God was telling us. So how are we ready for Christmas? How are we ready for Jesus? Next Sunday, we will be singing several songs about baby Jesus. But we should remember, he should be born in our hearts. The main virtues that we can copy from Jesus are meekness, humble, fortitude, and piety. Christ was meek and humble. He was courageous. Even when the devil came to tempt him, he was able to overcome the temptations, which was so amazing. So he was courageous to face his enemies and to preach the word of God, the most amazing one. He was always preaching the word of God. So as children and everyone watching me at home today, let us prepare ourselves for Christmas by preparing our hearts to receive Christ. So if you haven't gone for confession, you have the whole of this week, receive Jesus in a pure heart for those who are receiving the, the Eucharist. You need to go for confession already. You know how to confess your sins. So what is written in the gospel is just a prophecy fulfillment of what was written in the book of Isaiah. So remember, God told Joseph, do not quit on Mary, do not leave her, for the child she is having is conceived by the Holy Spirit, and his name will be Jesus, meaning God with us. You know, Jesus has several names. Some call him Emmanuel, Noel, Jesus Christ, all this. But he was the son of God. And his main purpose to come on earth was to set us free from all our bondages of sin, sicknesses. And that's why Jesus in his life did a lot for the people. He cured the sick, he raised the dead, he calmed the storm, he set the captives free. He did a lot of things. So as we prepare ourselves, let us start praying and asking Jesus, be born in our hearts so that we may live a peaceful life, even children. Keep on praying to baby Jesus and ask baby Jesus to be your best friend. And when Jesus is your best friend, he will help you overcome all hard things. Even at school, Jesus will help you. So are we going to ask baby Jesus to be our friends? We have to ask baby Jesus to be our friends. Baby Jesus, baby Jesus, I love you, I love you, you are my savior, you are my savior, every day, every day, baby Jesus, baby Jesus, I love you, I love you. You are my savior, you are my savior, every day, every day. So we need to love Jesus every day because he is our savior. And we also need to love Mother Mary because she accepted to give birth to our Lord. So she has to be honored. How many times do you pray Hail Mary? You need to pray Hail Mary all the time. Remember Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Those were the first words that were spoken by Angel Gabriel when Angel Gabriel, 
went to Mary when he was sent to, by God to go to Mary and tell Mary that she's going to conceive. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Those were words that were spoken by Elizabeth when after Mary had an encounter with the angel, she set off to go and visit her cousin Elizabeth. And immediately when Mary greeted Elizabeth, the child in her womb leaped and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. You see? So we need to say, Hail Mary, more often. Now, in Isaiah, Prophet Isaiah is just prophesying what will happen, that a virgin will conceive and exactly that's what happened to mary because you remember the words when angel told her she was like no that's not possible i'm just a virgin i'm not married but then we see the angel told her the holy spirit shall descend upon you and you will conceive and bear a son and his name will be jesus the son of god and remember jesus was a descendant of david so I hope you've enjoyed our Sunday school program today. And keep watching Patches TV. I'll see you again next Sunday, just as usual before I leave. Let us humble ourselves wherever we are and pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Send my call, pray for us. All the angels and saints, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So don't forget, today is the Sunday of love. So let us share the love of Christ with people around us. And remember, Christ loved us unconditionally. So keep watching Patches TV. I'm your host, Celestina Ward. Until next Sunday, stay blessed.